Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm doing a read for the air signs. This is a love read, only love. The first card is who loves you. Second card is what is your block in this love relationship. And the third card is what is your solution. And then we will do clarifiers as well. So this is for air signs. We're going to go with, we'll do Gemini, then Libra, and then Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air signs for today. Today is May 20th, 2018. What is the energy for today for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so Gemini's first. All right, Gemini. Who loves you? What is your block? And what is your solution? Gemini, who loves you? What is your block? And what is your solution? So for Gemini, we have the Temperance card. Then we have the block is the Emperor. And the solution is the Eight of Swords. And there's a few cards that wanted to come out as clarifiers. And this second row is Libra. Libra, who loves you? What is your block and what is your solution? Libra, who loves you? What is your block and what is your solution? Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. What is Who loves you? What is your block and what is your solution? So it looks like a, a twin situation for Libra. The block is... Three of Pentacles, and the solution is nine, is nine of Swords, and just one card as the clarifier, which is the Two of Swords. And then this is for, third one is for Aquarius. Aquarius, who loves you? What is your block and solution? Aquarius, who loves you? Who loves Aquarius? What is the block and what is the solution? So the chariot comes up as who loves you? Your block, Aquarius, is four of pentacles, and the solution is ace of swords with one card coming out extra, which is a six of wands. And the bottom of the deck is the king of cups. Okay, so for all air signs, you've got unconditional love here. Okay, and underneath the king of cups is the ten of pentacles. Okay, so there's a very strong family love here. So I'm going to move these over just a little bit. Oh, you can see them. Move them up a little bit so you can see the bottom row better. Okay, so for Gemini, we have a Sagittarius in the Temperance card here. Okay. Um, we have uh, the Emperor here too. So there's two major arcana for Gemini. So maybe a Sagittarius loves you. They're being very patient. And then we have a, uh, it could also be Sagittarius in your chart. So it could be you loving yourself and just being more patient and balanced in your life, taking one step at a time. Uh, the block is the emperor, which is all about control. And then the solution is the eight of swords, which is feeling uh, trapped in a prison, which is interesting. That's the solution. Well, maybe because... If Sagittarius loves you, Gemini, and your block is about controlling, you know, letting go of control issues and being the big boss, being the leader all the time, maybe you need to worry a little bit about what others think for a change, you know, where the leader doesn't usually worry about everyone else. They just, you know, want to do what they want to do and be in control. It's about... It's about... Allowing yourself out of prison, it could be a reversed Eight of Swords as well, but maybe you need to worry more about what other people think because you're, you're not caring about anybody else. Let's clarify that, though. So we have for Gemini, um, the extra cards for Gemini are the, the, King, of, the King of Wands, Got the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of wand energy here just in the clarification, okay? So it's all about physical activity. And we're talking about Gemini here. Geminis are all about mental activity. So there's this King of Wands, who could be the Sag, right? Who is trying to open up to the world, waiting for their ship to come in, basically. Maybe they're 
at a certain level in business but want to go further but not sure how to how to start the next level of this business um, but they're very passionate about it they have the ace of, of wands so the Sagittarius is very focused on their passions but they love you but it looks like Gemini is all about control um, so it's about letting go of that control looks like you both have you know a little bit of control issues because you know you're someone who's so passionate about what they're doing in business you know they're gonna want their way and you want your way so you kind of put each other into a prison so let's see what the uh, the mini deck has to say for Gemini. Why does Gemini have temperance card as the one who loves them? Okay, well there you go. <laughs> it's a twin that you're not with right now. For Gemini. And the block is the need to control. We have a uh, the Queen of Swords is definitely Gemini energy, reversed. So it's about, you know, you can be a little sharp when you want to, and when she's reversed, you know, she's gonna be downright nasty. And that comes out when you're trying to be too controlling. And you have a, th a, a Three of Cups here. It's about when you're socializing or even an emotional affair, you may be too severe, you know, sh too sharp with your words for someone, this Sagittarius. doesn't have to be um, a Sagittarius we have we have other air signs here we have the eight of swords and we have the uh, the Emperor too which is usually like Taurus or Aries type energy we have um, the hangman and the six of wands um, clarifying that eight of swords as far as feeling like feeling imprisoned and it looks like a positive thing so it could actually be the eight of swords reversed energy which is releasing yourself from that mental prison which makes you need to control um, waking up um, to allowing attention in your life it could also be being conceited you know if you are in that in that prison it could be because your head's a little big because you're this leader in control and uh, you just want all this attention. So it's hard for the uh, Sagittarian here to give you attention. Because you won't let them, because you're building yourself up so much, you know, to make yourself feel better that it's blocking the other person from actually giving you love. Let's see. Let's see what's more about this Emperor. Also, it could just be the block. It could also not just be you in control, but it could be another person blocking you. Sometimes I get the emperor too as God because God's in control. Okay, so. Could be a um, there could be a child, an Earth child, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn child, or it could just be like a new project or new schooling that you want to do, but you don't have the money, and uh, you have a new love involved, or it's about loving yourself first, like not stop, you know, not doing so much. So get out of your head, don't be controlling. Uh, the solution is to get out of your head, to get out of the mental prison, because it's, it's Gemini, so you know they're in your you know you're in your head, so so stop stop worrying, stop the anxiety, relax, meditate. Um, and of 
course, I'm going to remind you again, we have the uh, King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So it's about unconditional love, okay, and mastering your emotions. And if you're being controlling and in your head, you're not mastering your emotions. And this Sagittarius does want to love you. It definitely looks like a twin flame thing because of the, uh, the Six of Cups and the Lovers together. We're both reversed. But it could just be, um, it just could be a negative past with an X. Who still loves you? Okay, let's go on to Libra. We have Six of Cups as the one who loves you. So it could be your kids, but it also could be, it definitely could be a twin flame thing. Or a soulmate. Okay, it's really beautiful love. And it's cups, so it could be a water sign who loves you, Libra. Um, we have we have uh, the star card reversed, the magician reversed, and the king of pentacles here. So there could it it looks like there could be some uh, depression and insecurities with a king of pentacles who loves you. So that would be an earth sign, a a Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, and it doesn't have to be male, it could be a female as well. They just might have it all together financially and they're masculine. Okay, but someone's depressed, feeling insecure about, um, about this love, and it is a very pure love. And the, the obstacle or the block is the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like Libra is working too much, they're all about their work. Um, and making a decision about a Leo, potentially. Okay, and the truth. The Ace of, of Swords. That uh, Libra might need to tell the truth to a Leo. So that they can make a decision about something. And this is affiliated with the block, which is at work. It's a place of coming together. It could be church as well. Okay, or a creative place where you... Or someone's artistic. But this is the block. The work is the block. And then we have the solution is the, the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords the solution for Libra? Looks like someone's feeling guilty. Okay, but it's about letting go. Letting go of this, the guilt and finding satisfaction that the because divine timing is coming in to actually give you your wish if you let go of the guilt okay looks like uh maybe a relationship through work all right where the truth needs to come out to a potential karmic and then there's an earth sign who's depressed because uh they're feeling insecure because um you're probably not paying any attention to them and feeling guilty. We also have the uh, Two of Swords. Two of Swords is a clarifier, which is which is having faith or just refusing to see the truth. But for Libra, it's it's saying you know divine timing is coming in. If you let go of the guilt and the pain. Um, the divine wants to give you exactly what you want. You're going to get your wish. So you need to let go of that. Stop blocking seeing what's right in front of you. And then we have for Aquarius, we have the chariot. Now again, for the, for Libra, there were no major arcana, so you have a lot of control over your situation, Libra. Uh, for um, Gemini, not as much. You know, there's two major arcana up there, so the divine is in control at the moment. And for Aquarius, you have one major arcana. You have the Chariot, which is a big, bold move. That's who loves you. It could be a Cancer that loves you, Aquarius. Um, it's clarified by the Emperor reversed. So someone's out of control. A Cancer that's out of control. Or it actually could be, um, you know, it's who, who loves you. So we're getting the Cancer. We're also getting, you know, the Chariot's all about a big move. Um, a big bold move it could be actual move or it could be um, traveling 
could be ascending as well. But we have the uh, the emperor reversed. So it's usually, sorry about the blur. The emperor reversed is all about, you know, ego and out of control. It could be loss of ego as well. It could be like death of ego going through this. And then we have the, uh, the justice card here too as well reversed. So it could be some kind of something in court going on, a divorce. And then we have rejection here too as well with the page of cups reversed. So this cancer for Aquarius, um, it could be Aquarius has cancer in their chart, but saying who loves you, and we're getting a cancer because it's major arcana, but uh, they are going through a lot, maybe going through a divorce, feeling rejected, or just... Uh, And moving at the same time it doesn't have to be divorce it could just be breaking up breaking uh, up a, a, a long-term commitment with someone it could be business but we do have the page of cups here feeling rejected could be someone who's very shy could be kids as well involved in a situation maybe a divorce situation uh, the the block for Aquarius is the four of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so it looks like the block is because the Queen of Wands is holding on. And then we have the solution is the truth. Letting go of the pain. The, the worst is over. We have unconditional love. That's really positive. Um, we also have the, for Aquarius, the Six of Wands, which is about success and getting attention and followers. It's also um, good news. So if if um, Aquarius lets go, this Queen of Wands could be Aquarius with fire in their chart, but they're holding on too tight. So it's either you or it's someone else who's a fire sign who's holding on too tight, and that's the block. So whatever this is in your situation, that needs to they need to let go. And then the solution is the truth, just by telling the truth. Okay, maybe opening up your crown chakra more. You know, doing more meditation. Um, to let go, the worst is over, and it's just about unconditional love, okay? So you have the worst is over, it's the end of the pain cycle, and in comes the King of Cups, okay? Getting attention, good luck, good news, okay? So it's really positive if you just let go, or if this person lets go, okay? Yeah, this might be... Um, Someone who loves you, someone you're actually splitting with. So when you, once you get rid of that situation and they let go and the truth comes out, you'll be able to get into a very loving relationship. So don't forget, for all three of you, you have the, the King of Cups. It's all about mastering your emotions and unconditional love. So for, for Gemini, let go of control issues, get out of your head, and be love. For Libra, you know, it's the same thing, basically. If you let go of the pain and guilt, um, and just be love, everything's going to work out perfectly. Letting go, you know, see the truth. Allow everything. You're, you're supposed to get your wish if you let go of the pain and the guilt. And just see the truth. And then for Aquarius, too. Just be love, you know. If you're in a sticky situation right now, getting out of a relationship... Let go, allow them to let go by being love. Okay. Yeah, the worst is over. Okay. So that's your reading, Air Signs. Thank you.